Maasim Acts 19. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coasts, came to Ephesus, and finding certain Talmudim, he said unto them, Have ye received the Ruach HaKadosh since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Ruach HaKadosh. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye immersed? And he, then they said, Unto Yahuchanan's immersion. Then said Paul, Yahuchanan truly immersed with the immersion of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Yahusha HaMashiach. When they heard this, they were immersed in the name of Adonai Yahusha. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Ruach HaKadosh came on them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. And all the men were about twelve, and he went into the synagogue and spoke boldly for the space of three months, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of Yahuwah. But when diverse were hardened and believed not, but spoke evil of the way of Yahuwah before the multitude, he departed from them and separated F. V. Talmudim, disputing daily in the school of one Tyrannus. And this continued by the space of two years, so that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of Yahuwah, both Yahudim and Yavanim. And Yahuwah brought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases parted from them, and the evil Ruachah, rather Ruachah, went out of them. Then certain of the vagabond Yahudim exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil Ruachoth, the name of Adonai Yahusha, saying, We adjure you by Yahusha, whom Paul preaches. And there were seven sons of one Skiva, a Yahudi, and chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil Ruach answered and said, Yahusha I know, and Paal I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil Ruach was leaped on them, and overcame them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. And this was known to all the Yaudim and Yavanim, also dwelling at Ephesus, and fear fell on them all. And the name of Adonai Yahusha was magnified. And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. Many of them also which used curious arts brought their sepharim together and burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it fifty thousand pieces of silver. So mightily grew the word of Yahuwah and prevailed. And after the, rather after these things were ended, Paul purposed in the Ruach when he had passed through Macedonia and Achaia to go to Yerushalayim, saying, After I have been there, I must also see Rome. So he went into Macedonia, two of them that ministered unto him, Timotheus and Erastus, but he himself stayed in Asia for a season. And at the same time, there arose no small stir about the way of Yahuwah. For a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, rather silversmith, which made silver shrines for Artemis, brought no small gain unto the craftsmen, whom he called together with the workmen of like occupation, and said, Sirs, ye know that by this craft we have our wealth, Moreover, ye see and hear that not alone at Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia, this Paul has persuaded and turned away much people, saying, They be no Elohim, which are made with hands. So that not only this our craft is in danger, 
to be set at naught, but also that the temple of the great Elohim, Artemis, should be despised, and her magnificence should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worships. And when they heard these things, rather these sayings, they were full of wrath, and cried out, saying, Great is Artemis of the Ephesim. And the whole city was filled with confusion. And, having caught Gaius and Erasticus, men of Macedonia, Paul's companions in travel, they rushed with one accord into the theater. And when Paul would have entered in unto the people, the Talmudim suffered him not. And certain of the chief of Asia, which were his friends, went unto him, desiring him that he would not adventure himself into the theater. Some therefore cried one thing, and some another, for the assembly was confused, and the more part knew not wherefore they were come together. And they drew Alexander out of the multitude, the Yaudim, putting him forward, and Alexander beckoned with the hand, and would have made his defense unto the people. But when they knew that he was a Yaudi, all with one voice about the space of two hours cried out, Great is Artemis of the Ephesim! Now when the town scribe had quieted the people, he said, Men of Ephesus, what man is there who does not know? how that the city of Afsim is a worshipper of the great Eloah, Artemis, who has fallen from the skies. Seeing then that these things cannot be spoken against, ye ought to be quiet, and to do nothing rashly. For ye have brought hither these men, which are neither robbers of temples, nor yet blasphemers of your Elohim. Wherefore, if Demetrius and the craftsmen which are with him have a matter against any man, the law is open, and there are deputies. Let them implead one another. But if ye inquire anything concerning other matters, it shall be determined in a lawful assembly. For we are in danger to be called in question for this day's uproar, there being no cause whereby we may give an account of this concourse. And when he had thus spoken, he dismissed the assembly.